Hey there, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my little video. Excuse the uh, slightly really, well, yeah, crazy hair. Um, I couldn't do a thing with it today. So um, basically I'm gonna get it all cut off at some point uh, in the very near future. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna have to put up with it. Now in today's video, I'm going to be making a curry. This is gonna be a sweet potato curry and you can also add meat to it if you want. Now personally, I tend not to eat a lot of meat these days, so I'm going to be using, in place of the meat, I'm gonna be using uh, tofu. Uh, but if you want to add meat, you know, it can be lamb or chicken or beef or, or whatever it is you choose, then simply exchange uh, the, what I'm using as tofu, exchange that for the meat and you'll sh you should be fine. Now this particular recipe is low FODMAP. Uh, now, if you found this video through, say, a Google search or a YouTube search, then you probably already know what low FODMAP is. If you don't and you have uh, any sort of digestive issues that are ongoing, then I highly recommend you to look up low FODMAP foods. Essentially, it's a list of foods that people who suffer from digestive issues can eat without um, the foods triggering their symptoms. From a personal perspective, uh, I've only recently discovered the low FODMAP system. So I thought, well, if I'm making recipes, why not get the camera out and uh, film it all? So hopefully, if this works for me, it may work for other people out there as well. So anyway, that's the thinking behind it. Let's get on with it, shall we? Oops, I'm at the wrong angle. Um, okay, this recipe is to serve eight people or, or provide eight servings. Uh, so let's go through the list of ingredients. First of all, you're going to need one tablespoon of corn flour. You will also need half a teaspoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of garam masala. Salt and pepper, freshly ground black pepper. Uh, now, this is where the meat comes in. You, The recipe calls for 700 grams of boneless meat. Um, personally, I'm going to be using tofu, but basically if you've got any boneless meat and you chop it into cubes, uh, that will also suffice. You will also need 125 millilitres of canola oil, one to two tablespoons of curry powder, four stalks of celery sliced, two teaspoons of tomato puree, 500 millilitres of onion-free beef stock. I'm using these uh, callow cubes, but I do think these particular cubes contain a little bit of onion in them. But if you can find onion-free, because with low FODMAP, you're not supposed to have onion or garlic. Um, but yeah, 500 millilitres of onion-free stock. One bay leaf, one full tin of chopped tomatoes, preferably organic. And um, it's, the recipe is asking for 425 grams. Uh, this is actually a 400 gram tin, so I'm just gonna kind of run with this one. Two sweet potatoes uh, chopped into one centimeter cubes. 40 grams of baby spinach leaves. Now I've used frozen, I didn't actually have any fresh spinach, so I've used frozen, but I've doubled up on the weight to allow for the ice. And the whole thing is served on a bed of rice. So I've gone for half a cup of rice there, which I shall cook down uh, in order to serve some of this onto later. Right, the first stage of this is we need to make some flavorings uh, for the meat, or in my case, for the tofu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the corn flour, and uh, there we go, and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm using um, Himalayan rose pink crystal salt. I'm just gonna add a little bit in there, not a lot. Uh, a bit of ground black pepper. And I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of garam masala. So that's about half, isn't it? Yeah. And half a teaspoon of paprika. It's kind of there, I'm a little bit not very accurate on my measurements there, but that's okay. And uh, we're going to just kind of mix that up. And then we're going to put the meat in. Now, uh, what I've done is I've cubed the meat, or in this case the tofu, into little kind of one, one and a half centimeter cubes. And I'm just gonna drop all those in and mix everything up. So this is gonna give them a little kind of flavored coating. Right, 
Right, while those are sat there marinating, I'm going to go and make some stock. Okay, I'm just going to add uh, just over half a litre of water to the kettle and put the kettle on. Then what I need to do is dissolve one of these cubes, these stock cubes, in 500 millilitres of boiling water. There we go, water's boiling. I'm just going to pour that into the half a litre mark. And then just keep stirring that until the cube is dissolved. Right, so now it's time to start cooking. I'm using a large non-stick wok and I'm going to put in about half of the canola oil. So that's about 60, I think 60 millilitres. So it's basically like a little, a little splash. That's a very orange oil, isn't it? It's got no smell, that's interesting. And let's get the, uh, the wok burner on. There we go, just put on low heat for now. Now, what I'm gonna do is add up to about two tablespoons of the curry powder into the heating oil. So I think there's just about two tablespoons there actually. So there's one and that's two and that's it. That's the, that's the entire pot finished. And if I can find my little spatula, uh, while that's heating, I'm just gonna basically cook the curry powder in the canola oil uh, until I get that lovely fragrance. Need to do that for sort of one or two minutes. So that's smelling absolutely lovely now, very very curry like. And uh, so what I'm going to do is add the rest of the canola oil. So we'll add another sort of sixty odd, uh, sixty odd grams. That makes up the sorry uh, milliliters. That makes up the 125 milliliters. I'm sort of doing that by eye, but I'm sure that's fine. And then I'm going to add in the meat, or in my case the, the tofu. So I'm just adding all that in and then I'm just going to stir it all around. Oh, and I'm going to add in the celery as well. I think actually I'll add the celery shortly. Um, I will just stir these around for a moment just so they all get a little bit of coating of the, uh, the curry powder and they all get a little bit sealed. A tiny bit more heat there. And now I'm going to put in the celery as well. Just kind of mix that all together and give that a little sizzle for a while. That smells really, really good right now. Essentially, if you're cooking with the meat, what you're looking for is the meat to be sealed. So it's kind of going a golden brown color. Okay, now I've left that to cook for a little while. It's all looking quite good. So what I'm gonna do now is add in the tomato puree uh, I'm going to put the bay leaf in and I'm going to pour in the stock. And I'm going to bring up the heat and let that come to the boil. Okay, this is because this is on the, the wok burner, you've got like a double burner going on there. So it's uh, brought it to boiling quite quickly. But once it's been boiling, and you're happy that it's all boiling and it's all mixed in nicely and all the tomato puree has kind of uh, worked its way through all the liquid then we can add the tin of chopped tomatoes and that will instantly help to thicken everything up look how rich that sauce has suddenly become that looks amazing so now I've added the tomatoes, I'm going to let this sit here on a medium to low heat and just simmer uh, over the next 45 to 50 minutes. Right, I think this wok burner is a little bit too fierce even on its lowest setting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it over to uh, a single burner over here on low settings and let that carry on simmering. And in the meanwhile, we need to cook up the sweet potatoes. So I'm going to just drop those into there and then put some water on them. And then we're going to bring those to the boil and then let those simmer for sort of 10 or so minutes just to soften them up. Which burner am I using? Let's, I'll tell you what, let's, let's use the wok burner to bring that to boiling very quickly. 
and then I shall move them over to the other burner and uh, let them simmer for a while. Okay, so the main curry is about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes away from being properly ready. Uh, the sweet potatoes have all reached a point where they're edible. They're nice and soft all the way through. So I should be adding those very shortly. And what I need to do now is get on and cook the rice. So I sort of allow about half a cup of rice per person. Um, so it's just me today. So I'm going to be cooking this half cup of rice. And then all I'm going to do is add enough water to it uh, to cover the rice. And then about, I don't know, half an inch on top of that. And then we'll get that on the um, cooker and bring that to the boil. And we'll pop, pop a lid on as well. And then once that's boiling, I'll, I shall let the rice simmer uh, until all the water is absorbed by the rice. And then it's just like pitting. And then I can turn the, uh, the gas off and then the rice will sit there ready to be eaten uh, for, you know, up to half an hour maybe. Um, so, okay, so I'll come back to you uh, when we're ready to go to the next stage. Right, this is looking pretty good. It's reduced down quite a lot, which is nice. And the potatoes are ready, so I'm gonna drain those off and then add them to the curry. So I'll just run those through a sieve, get all the water out. There we go, and I'm gonna add those in. And also, not forgetting the spinach. I'm gonna add that in as well. And then literally, all we need to do is just mix that together until the spinach has been evenly absorbed across the whole uh, curry. That's mixing in very nice and it's looking great. And what I need to do is just remove the bay leaf uh, because we don't need that anymore. And I'll just give this a final stir and I think we're ready to serve up. Right then, let's serve this up, shall we? Let's get ourselves a plate. Here's the rice. That's all ready to go. Looking great, nice and fluffy. That's how I like rice. And I'm just gonna pop that on the plate there. And right. Moment of truth, let me get my little faithful old ladle out. And I'm just gonna ladle some of that straight onto the rice. And there we go. Well, it looks pretty tasty. So let's get a fork and see if it's any good, shall we? Let's get a bit of the tofu as well. Okay. Mm. Really, really nice. So there we go. I recommend you give this one a try. And like I say, the beauty of this one, it's a low FODMAP. So um, if you do have these digestive issues and everything, hopefully this one um, you'll be able to eat till the cows come home and not have any issues. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was useful to someone. And obviously, if you do uh, have a go at making this, feel free to let me know in the notes below and uh, let me know how you got on with it. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.